Okay, welcome. This is a tutorial on how to do the ones three by three uh, pillar number puzzle. I'm not sure what they're technically called, um, but uh, this will show you how to get through uh, this one. Uh, there are a couple different var variations of this puzzle. Uh, the way it works is when you step on a tile, it pulls one number from each of the adjoining tiles, assuming that they actually have something to pull from. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to step on this one right here, and it pulls one from the two that was above me, and one from the right, uh, and so on and so forth. That's how you move the numbers around. To solve this puzzle, you need to get all of them to be one, because that's the solution granted here. That's the mechanics of the puzzle. This is not how this one uh, starts. Uh, it does always start in the same uh, orientation. Uh, I have intentionally not done that. This will show you how to solve the puzzle in any such starting orientation in case someone hits the puzzle or does something like that. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is zero out the puzzle. Uh, to do that, we're going to go to a, a starting point uh, that's easily attainable. Uh, and repeatedly attainable, uh, so you can always go back to it. Uh, so, what I want to do is I'm going to put four dots on this corner, and then I'm also going to try to move them over to this. Now, uh, it's not too hard to move them around. Uh, you can kind of get an idea how to do that, uh, but we're aiming for this corner there. That's kind of what we want. So I'll keep moving this around now. That pulls one from where I want it, but that's pretty easy to put back. By consolidating the numbers, it's it makes it pretty easy to kind of get them kind of where you want them to go. Oh, looks like that one's going to go on a uh, walkabout for me. They do that sometimes. Hopefully it'll get back in the right spot so I don't have to start this over. There we go. Great. All right. So here is our starting zero point. Uh, this is how we're going to solve this puzzle every single time we get it to this point. Uh, and as you saw, it was pretty easy to do. You just kind of move them in the, that direction and move them around. Not not too terribly difficult. Uh, now, from here on out, uh, there will be uh, in the description a link to a set of instructions uh, that are kind of uh, more visual, so you don't have to actually reference this video every single time. Uh, but I will kind of demonstrate them as it goes forward. First thing we're going to do is we're going to step on this one. And then we're going to do it again. Then we're going to step forward three times on this one. So that's how you should we want your puzzle to look at this point. And at this point, it's pretty easy. You step on the each of black tiles, but in succession. Apologies for changing the orientation, and there you go. That solves the 3x3 three three ones puzzle. Doesn't matter how you start, you can do it every single time. Hope this was helpful. Again, the link is in the description below for uh, the visual guide, the little chart, uh, along with what buttons to, stand, to step on, uh, as well as it will give you a guide for other puzzles as well that are very similar. Thanks for watching.